A few hours ago Ubisoft released the story trailer for episode 3 and although we know in terms of content it's similar to the previous two episodes, meaning it's lacking, I can't help but being excited for the new lore. Coney Island will answer and raise many questions surrounding the Black Tusk, Cleaners and Vitaly Chernenko. And obviously with Vitaly Chernenko another big person is coming to play, Aaron Keener. Besides that, we'll take a look at the new signature weapon, as well as two new weapons, one being exotic and one being a regular weapon, that will make an appearance. We're going to Coney Island to rescue a scientist who can help the division with developing the cure, which immediately raises a question with me. With both the broad spectrum antivirals and the pure fusion bioreactor, aren't we already able to create vaccines on a large scale? It appears we still need a scientist, the brain behind the machine, I guess, other than Jessica Kendall, who's also in New York, who understands the green poison. And who understands it better than the one person that worked with Gordon Amherst? That's correct, it's the Russian immunologist Vitaly Chernenko. But how did he end up in the hands of the Black Tusk? That I will answer in a moment. The Black Tusk have set up a heavily guarded base in the Luna Amusement Park, now destroyed after the pandemic. We will assault the base with the use of a new exotic factor and a honey badger and attempt to rescue Chernenko, but not without the cleaners interfering. And this is pretty cool to see them return, especially as badass as they are in the trailer. However, I'm still disappointed, although I can't be 100% sure that they're the only faction returning from the first game. However, in the team of the cleaners, our new specialization is revealed with its signature weapon being the flamethrower. Moments later, the Black Tusk have set up a guided missile system and are launching an artillery strike. Although the trailer showed it being around the theme park, I'm wondering if they will use it on other parts of New York City. The final part of the trailer shows one of the remaining BTSU members, judging by the outfit it's probably not Jack Bonney, Ellis Galveston or Elijah Sumner, it's most likely Barden Schaefer, although his outfit seems changed from the Assault Black Tusk Trooper. However, if you paid attention, in the near distance, blurred, we can see a hooded rogue division agent who couldn't be anyone but Aaron Keener. This raises many, many questions, among which is Keener working with the Black Tusk or is he manipulating them? Why would he give Chernenko to the Black Tusk only to be held in a high-tech prison in the middle of Coney Island? What did he get in return? And where is Keener going? Are we going to see the factions and characters from New York like the Rikers and Fei Lao on Coney Island? I'm very interested to see how Massive will handle the story at this point because in the previous episode, I was severely disappointed in the lack of story and lore in collectibles and missions. I know we're stuck with two main missions, but I'm hoping for many collectibles, side mission and other forms of lore enhancing features. That's it, I'll be sure to upload both gameplay and lore videos once episode 3 releases somewhere in February. Thank you for watching, the trailers always manage to excite me, although the gameplay and content usually lacks a lot. Still, I hope you liked the video, if so, consider giving it a like or a dislike if you didn't. Subscribe for similar content and I hope to see you soon. Peace out.